could Prince Harry and Prince William be seeing each other in May 2024? That is the question asked today. We know that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, while they still have their titles, they still remain royal. Very much this one is royal. He will never lose that. Um, they have been kind of estranged and exiled from their family in the UK. King Charles III has made little to no effort to even meet or see his grandchildren, you know, considering they are of royal blood. And while he's been dealing with his own health issues with having cancer, which we still don't know what kind of cancer he has, it's been a very strange year considering we're dealing with Catherine's devastating health news. Many are left to wonder, is this really a good idea to bring the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle especially, who has upset, you know, Princess Catherine over, you know, the last few years with her tales of, you know, her being hard to deal with. You know, I wonder if this is a good idea. Now, you guys have to understand, they're coming back to the UK for the Invictus Games. So it has nothing to do with family, like just wanting to see them. This is for a reason. Prince Harry definitely has to be there because it's the 10 year anniversary, 10 years already, um, of the Invictus Games. And so he will be there. And it has been said that Meghan Markle may be there. She's been penciled in so far, but it's to be determined. Meghan Markle already has so much on her hand with her new podcast, as well as her new launch of her brand. This brand, which sounds very similar to the bear, Angry Orchid, American Riviera Orchid. It's going to some mouthful. Anyways, she's planning to add new items to that brand, like pet food, makeup, and, you know, obviously she, this is her thing, right? She had the TIG in the past, which had very similar things that she was promoting, lifestyle, health, wellness. So I don't know if she's going to be there, but here's my thing. I feel like people that are dealing with cancer should not be having any kind of added stress. I understand that Harry has to be there, but do you think this is a good idea for Meghan Markle to go considering how the UK and how a lot of the people over there feel about her? Here in America, people love her. People think she's great. They think she got away. In fact, there's been so much commentary after this, um, you know, Kate debacle that people have been saying things like, wow, smart on Harry and Meghan. These two really dodged a bullet. You know, they got away from all the drama. But really, what happened with Kate Middleton is really just, in my opinion, just a really bad PR move. They just did not handle that very well. And they were the ones that fueled the conspiracy because silence isn't always the, the best thing to do. And I said that in my last video. Silence, especially in the technological age that we're living in, breeds rumors. All right. But it says here from the New York Post that Prince William and Kate Middleton do not plan to reunite with Harry during May visit. I believe that Princess Catherine is going to get the best treatment possible. They're very fabulously wealthy. This the allegation was made that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry didn't even know of Kate Middleton's diagnosis, that they were they found out like everybody else via news or whatever, you know, mainstream news and things like social media. And why? Because they can't be trusted. That's the claim that, you know, is being alleged on the internet is that Meghan Markle and Harry cannot be trusted. Now, in the past, we've seen them, you know, go to the funeral of the queen and things like that. And people made all kinds of crazy assumptions that Meghan Markle was wearing um, a microphone on the back of her skirt or in her skirt or something. And they just, they kept their distance. And we saw the videos of that. We saw the images of everyone kind of ignoring Harry. And it was just, it was really telling. I think this family is so fractured that the possibility of them seeing Kate Middleton or seeing his brother and spending time with them is going to be slim. However, what you can learn from something like this is that even in some regular families, I know, just not rich multi-billionaires or millionaires, there's people that they, they put the boundaries down. They're like, I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I want nothing to do with you. And I feel like that's where this family is right now. It's just, this isn't normal. This is People Magazine. It says, it would be the normal run of things, run of things to go and see your sister-in-law who's had a serious operation and also see your niece and nephews. 
but it isn't nor it isn't normal. It's terribly sad. A source close to the royal household tells people. So I don't know um, if this is just how it's going to be forever, but I'm praying and hoping. So I think this family needs to make an effort to come together. I think this family desperately needs to come together for the fate of the future, even in these two, their children, because they've got two people down. Andrew is, we know Andrew's a mess. Um, we know Fergie is not, she's estranged from the family as well, but she was diagnosed with some sort, I think it was breast cancer. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just saying in all in all, the fate of the future relies on these brothers coming together. What do you guys think? Have a great day. Think for yourself.